It has been a whirlwind week. We're back in Upolu, but Joe is leaving to go to Texas and we're running around doing a bunch of stuff on the left. before he leaves. Right now we have to drop off footage to the local news station, TV3, so that they can put together a little piece for the news. So it's kind of cool that our footage will be used for that. Look how pretty. <laughs> this is their new, we got them lava lavas in <laughs> Savai'i at the wharf. Mine says presents. don't forget Samoa. Yeah, their grandma tied them on them like pretty dresses, huh? <laughs> we are going to the too. Te Wila Festival. Yeah, we are going to the Te Wila Festival to go have some lunch and look around. And we are going to play there. We're going to play there. And then after the Te Wila Festival, we take Evangeline to a friend's birthday party at Taumeasina Resort. Lucky girl. And then we and head to the airport. To you get with mama. Yes, you get to hang out with mama. So <laughs> glad. Then we head to the airport to drop Joe off. Where's daddy going? to Texas. Yeah, Daddy's going to Texas for a few days. For help Uncle Danny. Yeah, and he comes back the day before my 40th birthday. I'm getting old. He better and make that we, flight. And we are going to uh, my mommy's birthday. Yeah, and head back and pick up Evangeline. Yes. And just Run, run, run. We, I'm running out of gas too, I think. We have so. to get her to the party because she okay, look here. invited. Talk here. She invited. Yeah. Okay, so before I leave, we decided to stop at the Te Wheeler Festival for a minute before we get to Banjo's thing at Tommy Asina. So this is the Te Wheeler Festival. Look how cute they are. Are you cute, Ammo? Are you cute, Ammo? <laughs> so, hey, how are you? For the airport, we just dropped Evangeline off at Taumeasina. <laughs> Amo's a little sad that she didn't get to go to the birthday party. And Joe's a little worried about getting on his flight because I don't really know why. Well, because the flight leaves at 5.30, it's already 2.30. It takes almost an hour to get there. And I haven't checked in because I guess you can't check in with Fiji Airways online. The only way to check in is to actually physically check in. So like I gotta go to the airport to go check in. The lame part about that is we were just at the airport yesterday, but I didn't know before today that you had to check in in person. If I would have known that you had to check in in person, then we could have just stopped there yesterday and everything would be fine and I would have had the opportunity to choose my seat but instead I know what's gonna happen I'm gonna sit in the middle between two big fat guys fatter than me <laughs> that sucks so we'll see what happens <laughs> we're two fat women Fia said <laughs> which, which is actually worse I'm gonna say it right now and I don't care what you say it's worse to sit in, two, in between two ladies regardless of size than two dudes. The two ladies will just like assume that they own the seats and so you don't get the middle armrests and uh, so I, it's really like a common thing that if you sit in the middle seat you get the armrest because nobody wants to sit in the middle seat so the least they could do is give you the armrest. Why is it better with two dudes? 
Oh, it's always better with two dudes. Dudes don't like to touch each other. When you sit next to two dudes, the two dudes sit like this. When you sit next to the girls, the girls sit like this. <laughs> they just want to touch you. They just want to the touch me. Ooh, the ah! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. That was <laughs> very close. No, my mom. This is the taxi guy's fault. Were you nervous, mom? <laughs> no? Good thing Good. you're going out of town for five days. She doesn't want to talk to you anymore. <laughs> I'm glad you weren't nervous, mom. <laughs> well, we're alive. Damn. And all the people in the crosswalk are alive, too. <laughs> and all the people in the truck in front of us are also alive. What happened was a taxi driver was backing out and almost backed out into us. So Joel was looking at the taxi driver, trying to avoid the taxi driver. And then the truck in front of us stopped because a whole bunch of kids were walking across the crosswalk. Then Joel went to hit the brake and his slipper slipped, go figure. His slipper slipped between the brake and the gas pedal. So anyway, we managed to avoid the taxi trying to hit us, managed to avoid hitting the truck in front of us and managed to avoid hitting any pedestrians. No, nobody was harmed in the making of this production. <laughs> Except Fia almost had a heart attack. <laughs> Kiss daddy. Mm, kiss daddy. Mm. No, you stay here with mama. Kiss daddy. <laughs> you don't want to go home? You don't stay. Love you. It's a lot bigger gate area than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be that tiny little area where that lady is, but it's this whole huge area. Awesome. Midnight in Hawaii. It appears that I have the whole place to myself. So.
so not quite sure what to do. I have all my bags, I guess, which is not really a big deal since my check-in bag is actually empty so I can grab all the stuff from Amazon when I get to Rena's house. But my problem is that I don't even know what airline to get on because I didn't see that in the itinerary and I don't think that they checked me all the way through because it was on different airlines, Fiji Air to here. I think it's American? Where's American? Ugh. What time do I leave? 7 a.m. I don't even see a 7 a.m. flight on there. Eesh. on a plane to Texas. It was a long trip and I came to pick up Evangeline at Tell Me Asina, and it's a gorgeous night and the girls are playing at the park at the hotel right now. I'm trying to talk them into going home and having dinner. I feel like I'm in the international terminal. Yeah, they have Japan Airlines. That one down there says Philippine. I need a paper clip. Let me get yelled at here. Oh, there ain't nothing up here. I was thinking maybe I'd find one here, but it is empty. In search of a paper clip. This new paper clip. difficult to find. Yes. Still looking for American Airlines. <laughs> it's actually kind of a uh, long terminal here. We just came from that way, so now I'm gonna head that way. We'll see. Howdy. Good morning. Tomorrow. You know where to go, right? Yeah, he just told <laughs> that officer just told me to go down to the at the very end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just check in with the security there, you'll be good to go. Alright, thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. So um so I just was recording because I've already been all the way down here. And he told me to turn all the way around, so I'm going let me show you. I was going all the way down there. All the way to the end. Of course I'm going to the end. <laughs> oh well, that officer behind me was pretty awesome too. Chill. This airport is really a beautiful airport. They have little touches that make this airport really awesome. Uniquely Polynesian. Yay for Hawaii.
They already get their name? This is kind of funny, it's almost like a refugee camp in here. All these people all stranded and stuff. Just like for real. And they like make you come in here. It's kind of funny. There's a good place, an outlet. I've slept on worse. <laughs>